I think that this episode is gonna be a really fun one. We ended last episode with that Dio's voice actor, Shea Bald got musical player, super damn bad for MASH. Why? Because MASH was able to beat, you know, Lang's dorm without using any magic. Not that he can use any magic. But the secret's out anyways. I think this new guy, the enemy, is actually gonna be our friend. Usually they do shit like this, right? They introduce a guy, looks kind of villainous, but then he just turns into a regular friend group. That's what happened with everyone we beat. Let's begin today's reaction. A prefect. Oh, they're like the leads of the dorms. Wait, straight up? All of them had the skills necessary to become a divine visionary. I never considered... Like, like, like... Come on, like, Magus Lupus was kind of... They were not Magus Lupus. They were fucking Magus mid, dude. It was fucking mid Lupus. They got taken out so easily. You're telling me this guy could have been a divine visionary? Then again, he does have like three artificial lines, so maybe, maybe I'm underestimating him, man. This guy's supposed to be super strong too then, okay? I just don't see those two being on the same tier as Reynas, you know? It's, it's just, I just don't see that. Okay. Flashback. They're hyping up somebody. Oh shit, they're gonna hype up Baldi here. Margaret. Nine-year-old took out everybody? Okay, so so far they kind of like done, you know, we're like Adler dorm, right? And then we know Lang dorm because of Magus Lupus, and now we have Orca dorm. But like, even if you hype this character up like this, Nash is probably just gonna fucking solo, and then he's just gonna turn and turn into just like a friendly, goofy friend again, like everybody else we beat. If he can actually fight Rain, though, I'd be very impressed. Let's see it. I mean, he's kind of talking big. What's his magic, though? It's got to be music related. Did he just summon himself playing the piano? Or was that just a teleportation? All right, let him cook. Let him, let him cook. What's preventing Rain is just from throwing swords at the piano. Why are we waiting right now? <laughs> Just don't let him play the piano! Fucking throw the swords at him! Alright, fine. We'll listen to this fucking entire piano concerto and let him power up then. Like, I just feel like there's gonna be a moment when Mash is fighting Margaret. And he's gonna be doing this piano shit. And it's gonna have this exact scene with the musical notes everywhere. And you know Mash, what Mash is gonna do? The most Mash thing to do at this point is to literally grab these musical instrument notes, right? It's to literally grab the fucking music and just break it apart with his bare hands because that's the show that this is, right? It's just goofy, dumb, it just brute force everything. I can't believe he's just letting him play like this, dude. <laughs> Rain is not fucking impressed. <laughs> what are we doing? Did that buff you up? What was that? Huh? So you tell me in that tournament from like a while ago where this nine-year-old Margaret beat everybody in that tournament they, he just fucking brought a piano there and just played in the Coliseum and everyone just let him fucking play and he just won like that? What the fuck is this? Oh wait! Okay, now this is getting interesting. Because so far, the title Divine Visionary is like, absolute, right? But now if he's saying, if Margaret's saying, there's people that actively, you know, try to not be one, even though they could become one. Suddenly, Margaret becomes a good contender, if he's actually that strong. Wait! Why did he just unleash the piano there? So there was no meaning in that piano song. He just played as an intro scene for everybody, just, just for the mood. And the piano, was, I thought it was going to be a fucking magical attack. This guy's fucking trolling, dude. This guy's fucking trolling, dude. Rain is, come on. This music it just sounds. All right, back at home. We're playing Monopoly at home. I see. 
How many sided die is that? Holy shit! This is the best way to break up friendships. The volcano looks pretty cool on the board, though. Is she the luckiest one that gets everything? She is a little bit like that to match, though. Never mind, she's not lucky. Maybe Lance is lucky. This Monopoly game is just fucking just shitting on every one of their little quirks, right? He's a fucking Cisco and Lemon's fucking stalking mash. Dot's just just taking L's. What about him? Okay, he's actually a good person. Mash is just gonna break the dice somehow. Never mind. Why, why is this Monopoly board kind of just determining our future right now? We can't use Matt. I mean, that's the entire plot, right? The whole Divine Vision or the Sand guy was straight up like, this kid, he needs to die. I mean, that's why Margaret's coming over right now. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> what are you fucking laughing at, Doc? <laughs> Is he trying to use gravity magic on the Monopoly board? He is. Wonderful. We're also fucking stupid. Honestly, these, these are wholesome moments, though. Little little slice of life, dumb moments like this. It's cute so that whenever there's actually despair in the future, it feels a little bit more... You know, things are on the line. It will not. Because you said that it will not. Bro is talking like he's fucking maintained the group together, and he kind of is. He's like the straight man of the group, but he's also the only person. Well, I don't think Lemon's really fought either. Have we seen this kid fight yet? Have we? Do we even know what his magic is? In season one, I don't think he's done anything. There was even a moment where him and Dot was about to do a 2v2 and Dot fucking soloed. Like, right? I'm not crazy, right? Like, we haven't seen him do shit, but he is the brother of a divine visionary, and they have been kind of like... Keeping him down low, making us think that he is weak in season one. So no doubt that in season two, there will be a moment where we fight for his friends and it's going to be crazy, right? It's got to be. I don't know what these sounds magic are doing, but it's just like, I don't know. That looks like kind of gravity magic, yeah? It's just like projectile weapons. What, they'd explode? This guy just got everything. He just fucking kind of mimicked Lance's graviol, and now he has Dot's fucking bombs here. Like, what is this shit? <laughs> this guy is so sus, dude. <laughs> you wanna get stimulated, Margaret? Mm, all my favorite past hobbies. Pleasure, the hedonistic treadmill. We just want to feel good. Yeah, okay. Where are you going with this? Meddling in other people's business. Bro, you are literally a fucking order hit assassin onto MASH. Mind your own fucking business. Okay, but like, define the word fulfill right now. Define it. You think that this voice sounds like he uses in ReZero character? Oh yeah, there's like that clown character in the ReZero trailer we watched, right? Same deal voice actor, but like, define the word fulfill right now. You're being very oh, sus with this. Stimulate, fulfill. But are you good enough to beat Rain as first? Rainus actually believes in him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. See, they keep hyping up Margaret, saying like, "Oh, he's a fucking you know." Not only people only go for divine visionaries. He's been pursuing strength the entire time, which kind of hypes him up. But I would like to also see a moment where it's like, "Nah, he is a divine visionary for a reason," and just one shots Margaret. <laughs> Okay. 
the marks again. Wait, single line, you know, double line, they scale with power, right? And if you have two lines, you can use like seconds. And Langdorm, right? He had like three marks, but it was actually artificial from, what was it? Innocent Zero or some shit? I forget. Dumbledore is about to do some kind of crazy fucking, like a, a, a lore drop, right? So what about the lines? How many lines does Reynas actually have? Because sometimes... I just, like, if you have, like, facial hair, if you have anything that's, like, obstructing a part of your face, even, like, bangs hiding your face, I just feel like someone's gonna lift their hair, there's gonna be extra lines coming out, you know? So, like, what if Dumbledore is actually not a single line, because he only has one line, yet he's supposed to be, like, the strongest mage here? What if he actually, like, shaves his beard, and there's, like, multiple lines here, you know? The shit like that would be hilarious to me. That's right, more lines, the stronger you are. Okay. And Reina is? Are we implying that he has a third line? Wait, wait. So again, we've never seen in his base form a third line. Does he, does he even have a second line? I don't even know. But right now, his eye muscle, something is twitching. Don't fucking tell me another line's about to show up. Okay. What about four? Does four exist? Why is Margaret crying? This is why he's a fucking divine visionary. Oh my god, they're hyping Reine up so much. Rain, Amis. Oh! Dude! The third line, though! Do you see that? Wait, 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 wait. The third line is like barbed. Look at this. But like, how? So, like, he was hiding it this entire time? How does this work? Because it looks like his fucking facial muscles are kind of this, like, I don't know. It's like a fucking bane, bane popping out. The, like, black ink shot out. Okay. Genuine third liner. Not a fake one, like Langdorm. <laughs> he keeps dying in Monopoly. <laughs> Maybe he'll go meet Raina accidentally. I want to go, I, I want Max to show up at the fight. Blaming society is not going to change anything. Also, he didn't break the door there. That's very rare. Usually he just breaks the door. He did not break the door there. Margaret and Reina will. He didn't give a fuck about the Monopoly game. Bro was just hungry for cream puffs and didn't want to share. Alright, more cream puff memes. See, perfect. See, right there. Or right there. Witness the power of a triple liner. Margaret, have you achieved that though? Are you that strong though? No, he's about to do fucking incantationless magic, right? Now, because he's specifically talking about how he has to chant, no, nah, Reyna's about to do some fucking incantationless shit. Dude, Reyna is such a good character. He is the biggest voucher for us, dude. Him and Dumbledore. Damn! And Mash heard all this two eavesdropping. No reaction? I don't know. I thought Matchy would be like, don't keep but he's like, hmm, okay, he's kind of nice. Oh. I mean, Margaret's still confident, though. What does he got up? There's also these two goons in the back. Okay, so we're hyping up Margaret again, but really? Is he, though? He's not gonna chant! You guys have multiple said multiple times, if he chants now, he's not gonna chant now. Okay, more backstory. There was really no point of him playing the piano, I can't believe it. Oh, that's an entire fucking band. Alright, they got an entire band. And this time, the music playing actually does help. Watch him say something like, huh? Because they're chosen by gods, they just don't need to even chant anymore. It'll be incantationless magic. Everything will just happen in an instant. Is there four lines? Okay. Incantationless. Wands. They can awaken a wand's dormant true form. Wait, wait. 
What do you mean a once dormant true form? Now we're going into bleach territory. Are you telling me Reine is about to fucking awaken a Shikai into a Bankai? Hold up. Well, I guess it would be the Shikai first because you'd have to know the name, right? You know, it's like a Roar Zabimaru, you know, and the innate fucking Zanpakuto awakens to its form. And then, you know, you got the dormant form, which could be the Bankai. Hold up. Hold the fuck up. Wait. Oh, soldier. The reason why lies behind what why what lies behind that no, this is a shitty subtitle. Come on, Crunchyroll. The reason what lies behind magic being a gift from the gods. Dude, they're actually fucking hyping up these wands. E even in the first couple episodes, you know, they were doing wand shopping. I thought it was fucking pointless because, like, in season one, wands did not ever fucking matter. It's just a random fucking sticky people just have to send around. All right, peace out, unknown. Wait, oh! Incantationless. Huh? huh? God's strength within a wand. Straight up! This is some bleach shit with the Zanpaktos. Wait, 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 we actually have a weapon! It's a fucking trident?! The, 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 the wands can actually change forms! You see that? Look. Holy shit. During, you know, writing season one and, and like creating it, I wonder if he's ever thought about, all right, these wands are actually gonna do something. Or later he realized, hmm, I want some more crazy shit in my series. What if I just take some inspiration from Bleach and fucking just awaken the Zanpakuto, dude? Holy shit. The animation's going crazy, dude. Not just partisan anymore. Ooh. I think they just saved all the budget for that one animation, dude. Margaret, you like It goes again? So did I we need to know a little bit more about how this works, right? Because like why can he hide or activate this like third line? And as soon as he uses all his magic or at least uses one black partisan, it disappears. I don't know. I'd like to know more about like hiding the third line though, or if it only activates during certain moments. <laughs> Master just watching the entire time. <laughs> yeah, I heard all the nice things you said. Bro, you, you, you praised us, bro! He does like cute rabbits though. No comment. <laughs> Ignores it completely. Yo, this guy, he's such a good mentor. I like him a lot. Even if he says he's bad at motivating. Look at this. They're both kind of awkward. It just fits perfectly. Right? Oh, Margaret escaped though. And he saved the kids. Basically, Juan just became a weapon and got stronger, yeah. Even basic... Spells like I don't even I guess like entry level spells implies that that was black partisan, right? And even that matched the level of a second, which is pretty much the ultimate, you know, magic that a sec two liner can use. So we've seen a third liner, we've seen this like fucking Bankai, but we haven't seen more than entry level magic yet. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, yeah, okay, so he, obviously he does have two lines, right? It's just kind of ambiguous because he has like music notes, but I thought that maybe one of these, you know, the way that this, this, this sign is like structured might like, I don't know, just separate and it's like, oh, by the way, he's a third line too, but okay, he's a second, he's got a second, so okay. They're kind of hyping up Margaret still, we don't really know how strong he is because he saved the kids and he ran away and he still has a second, right? Okay, okay, I see you, Margaret. Oh, what the fuck, dude? That was so unnecessary. <laughs> so saucy till the end. I like Margaret, though. I don't think he's gonna be really a bad guy at the end. <laughs> what is this voice acting? Is it gonna be actually soon, though? What is our idiot squadron doing? We're going somewhere? Are we gotta do is beat Innocent Zero, it's that easy. No, the dad honestly is like goaded. The dad is actually so good. And he like adopted Mash too, like out of nowhere. Aww. This is a nice wholesome moment before we go to another serious arc. 
I can't really tell that you're happy with that face you're making, but I'm sure he's being genuine. He's actually a very good son. Good um, father-son moment. Where is this exam, though? They're going far away? Okay, three stages. Let's see. That's where we're at. Stage two. Stage two. Final exam. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. How many new characters? Hold up, hold up, hold up. What do we got over here? We got more tomato. <laughs> Bro's, Bro's name is actual tomato. All right. LeBlanc Russell. Wait, 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 wait. LeBlanc Russell. Second year. Three gold coins. Okay. He looks a little bit unhinged. This guy's kind of more scary because he's just smiling. I don't, I don't feel good about him at all. Something about his eyes is fucking terrifying. But he's Adler dorm though. He's our dorm. Ooh, Aerial Morris. No, don't get baited. I think it's a femboy. Adler dorm third year. There's Dot though. Here we go. <laughs> How the fuck did Finn get to this fucking stage without having used magic a single time in this fucking anime? Like Finn's first time fighting is just going to be in the divine visionary selection exam. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Oh, this guy is kind of like um, hyped up in the opening. I've seen him a lot, actually. Okay. Carpaccio Luo Yang. Interesting. Okay, we got Lance. Margaret's here, too. So they're really hyping up Margaret for the future. Okay, okay. Even Dumbledore's hyping him up. Seven gold coins. The most gold coins out of everybody here. First year. <gasps> it's Gara again. Sand dude. I hate his entire philosophy in life. He might be true about that, him not being human though. Bro, we just need to fucking punch him. Oh. <laughs> Wait, he was just talking to this fucking gun shit. Wait, okay. Um, he just starts flexing on him. This show is so fucking stupid sometimes, dude. <laughs> the comedy, the sad guy just shows up. Your existence will never be acknowledged by me. The world will not acknowledge you. Matt starts doing fucking ventriloquism while flexing his fucking muscles, dude. This show is great. That's a lot of names. Ana Koji's part of the gang, yes. Bro straight up got stripped to do that. Ventriloquism muscles just to prove that he has fucking people that acknowledge him. And then close himself back up. What is the Gara guy thinking? What is Sand Dude thinking? What a crazy last name. Burn dead. That's right. No magic? Most coins? Youngest person? Bro, what the fuck? The entire crowd's of course against us. Because, you know, if you don't have magic in this world, you're supposed to be just dead. They call you, right? It's just a lot of prejudice here. That's fucked up. But this is good, because situations like this, where everyone is against us, it sets up for the most hype moments. They'll all shut the fuck up. I just can't believe these two are fucking two-liners. How? How is fucking these two NPC-looking-ass two-liners? That's right, Finn. I don't think MASH cares. I'm not gonna lie. Of all the outfits between Adler, Lang, and, and Orca, the Adler drip is much better. Like, straight up. Their, their outfits, like, or, like, Orca is... I don't like this color scheme of just, like, fucking puke green and white here it makes no sense adler's is just basically just fucking the harry hogwarts just in the most basic just fucking cloak but the lang though look at this shit god damn who designed this survival is it free for all what find a key and escape Nash is not gonna need a key to escape, right? Oh. Okay, use magic to pop the balloon, get key, and escape. Alright. So these demon goat things with axes and weapons are gonna chase us while we try to get the key? 
That's the episode, man. God damn, I think they saved all the budget for this specific scene, dude. I can't believe this show has just gone beyond, you know, what it should have been. Because I, no one really thought that these wands were important, right? In season one, like, sure, the wands were there, but it's more about the magic around us. So the wand could have been just a fucking random stick. And then they explained a little bit more about the wands in the early part of this season. I'm like, what are they doing with this? And now, apparently, only third liners? I'm not sure if this is only specific to third liners, but we have a fucking Bankai situation with these wands. You awaken the true dormant form, you kind of access some kind of gods. You know, Rain is said, you know, Aris, right? It's the, supposed to be the god of war. Black uh, Partisan, which is supposed to be an entry level fucking spell, which still competes on the level as a second, which is pretty much like a two liners, like fucking, like. Like, uh, domain expansion, right? So, very fun things are happening. This is like one of those pivotal moments in the Shonen anime when someone gets a new power up, some new crazy mechanic gets introduced. Like, it's like a Super Saiyan moment, it's like a Gear Second moment, you know? So, this is actually super dummy hype. And, third liners, you can just never expect who is a third liner because he is supposed to only have two lines. But then the third line just showed up out of nowhere. So again, everybody could be a third liner. I don't know, but Rain is like the youngest ever to have awakened this. A being that's chosen by God. You know Dumbledore is, is like, how the fuck are you going to say this is supposed to be the strongest magician in this fucking world when he only has one line? Come on now. He's hiding something in the beard, right? I don't know. I'd like to learn a little bit more about the third liners though. But this next coming arc, dude, it's going to get hype. I think that Margaret... Because he survived, while not even going full strength, while protecting his friends against this Bankai mode, this is really setting up Margaret to be an actual threat in the future, right? Because they also went out of the way to say not everybody tries to go to become a Divine Visionary. Some people just don't care and they just ignore the coins and just fucking train like Margaret apparently. Him playing the piano didn't fucking matter, but his magic is it's pretty unique. We'd like to see what the seconds is going to be. And at the end of the day, I feel like Margaret's not our real enemy. I think at, after one fight or something, like after this arc, we'll be good friends with Margaret. This guy though, this sand guy? What if he's actually an innocent zero trader? What if he's a double agent? I don't know. I'm trying to think of a way to figure out a situation where we don't become friends with them. Because I don't like this guy. I hope he's a fucking double agent, dude. And I hope we have a reason to beat his ass in the future. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.